Hello Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, glad to have you. Welcome back, of course, if you're a part of our beautiful soul tribe here, spanning all across the world. I just, I, it still blows me away that we are connecting from land to land to land. It means so much to me. Um, I love you and I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Sag, general reading as always. Um, it is not a one-to-one, -one, so it might not resonate with you. Um, chances are it's not gonna resonate with every single Sagittarius out there, of course. Um, and timeless, right? Whenever you come to this reading, I am doing this reading on the 11th of June, um, but my intention is for Thursday, the 13th of July. It's my daughter's birthday that day, so it's gonna be a beautiful day. Um, so we're just going to get into it. As always, whenever you come to this reading, just know it, time is, it, 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 it's not of the essence, okay? Um, and what else? If you like a private reading for myself, send me an email. All the information is down below. We'll organize something um, and let's get started. Let's see what's going on. Um, the couple of readings I've been doing, I'm not getting any kind of lead in. Normally my guides will give me a sense. I'll get something, but not, not, not today. So it's okay. Um, let's just see what's going on. We're going to open up. We're going to get you an animal oracle and see what is possibly around you or an energy that you can be working with, right? Wow, we haven't had this for a while. On the bottom, and if you're new here, I always look at the bottom, the bottom, the split decks, all the cards, all the energy is very important for me to get the, 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 the storyline of what the message is that Spirit is trying to convey to you. So we have Tarantula Connection. It is number 13. That adds up to a four. So all about some kind of stability, some kind of solid foundation. This could be indicating that you are going to be making some substantial connections in the near future or already have. Could be indicating that, you know, it's many things. There's a tarantula, right? Um, lots of webs, webs all around this card. So it feels like there's a connection. How am I going to put this? Um, the energy with this card feels like one connection that you might make or that you've already made could lead to many, many connections. And there's something about opportunity coming in here. It's followed by the soul, the butterfly. Wow. Pretty powerful cards here. This feels pretty deep, Sag. Um, you might be pleasantly surprised in the next day or two or whenever you come to this reading that there is something that's gonna to come towards you that is really gonna change your soul um, in a big, beautiful, transformative, transformative way, right? The butterfly. Um, it is number 28, that is 10, that is one. If we reduce it all down, that is the magician. So what, are, what kind of magic are you creating here? Um, it feels pretty positive. We've got the shark next, all about your purpose. Okay, that is number 36, so that is a nine. Does reduce down to a three as well. Threes for myself are all about you getting into alignment, me getting into alignment, like our mind, our heart, our soul coming into alignment. If you're religious, it's like, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. It's the Trinity, right? Okay, let's see what Spirit has for you. All right, please show me clearly, Spirit, for those Saggies that this reading is meant for. What is going on for Sagittarius? Oh, okay, but nothing came out. So let's keep shuffling. Okay. Feels like a couple of jumpers are wanting to come out. What's going on for Sag? Ooh, okay. You guys get this so often. The owl. And it is number four. Okay, you do. You get this card so often. I'm not surprised. Um, because when I think of Sagittarius, and I know quite a few Sagittarius, you are this flame of light, of energy, of power, of wisdom. You have a lot of knowledge, Sag. Um, I've never met a Sagittarius that was not, that was not in, highly intelligent. You're highly intelligent, but you have that beautiful heart that is like full power of flame. Um, so I don't know what this is about yet. We're going to see when we get into the tarot, obviously, because we're going to need to find out more specifically. But this is indicating here that there is some, getting a couple of different things actually. Um, I'm getting with the owl right now. I'm getting that you may need to have your eyes wide open. <laughs> not that you, not that I'm suggesting you have your eyes half closed and you'd be ignoring things. Um, but there is this feeling of, you know, when you, an owl, we don't normally see them during the day. They're nocturnal, um, but they can see really great at night. That's how they get their prey, all that kind of stuff. The wise old owl that's saying, I don't know, we're going to have to just wait and see. They're not giving me much on it right at this moment, Saj. So the owl, all about your wisdom, your knowledge. 
bottom of the deck we have the fruit bat i feel like you guys had this too not that long ago um number 12 so there that adds up to that three right fruit bat flying fox whatever you want to call it this is about an exchange an exchange of kindness um you doing something nice for someone else and that person in return doing something nice for you right um this is a beautiful energy of equal exchanging but it doesn't have to be because they're giving okay because there's a woman and there's this bat right and she's feeding it fruit and they're in the air protecting her right so there's this exchange but they're giving this to me in a different way here of coming from some i gotta find the right word spirit help me some kind of kindness could be prosperity um, because they are showing me all this gorgeous fruits and flowers and it does feel very luxurious um, there could be some some kind of richness sweetness something like that coming though from someone you would not have suspected because they're really paying attention they're really getting me to feel the energy of the difference between human and bat okay if that makes sense so i don't know we'll see but it feels like kindness is coming in towards you and as well with the owl i didn't say this you know the wings are very hopefully you can see that they're very gold right it's a lot of gold there's a lot of white purity all of that beautifulness but gold represents abundance to me so abundance in whatever would be abundant for you everyone has their own their own ideas of what abundance means right so i don't know if they're putting it together that way right at this moment followed by the line this so hmm, that is about protection and it is number 21 so we've got two cards of three um wow I don't know. I feel like I want to leave this out, so we're going to do it. I'll show you the card because it's really beautiful. Gold again. Lots of gold. All chakras pretty much lit up. The, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, even the solar plexus chakra lit up. I don't know. What's going on? Let's see. I want to go into the um, tarot and see what's going on. Okay, spirit. Where do you want me to go? Okay. And spirit animal. Okay, let's see what this is about. Wow, we have the moon on the bottom. So we've got Pisces card showing up. The moon is the energy of things hidden. Um, can be about, first of all, it is unconscious energy most of the time, right? Pisces, very emotional, watery, all that kind of energy. But the moon is representing something that is hidden, something that you cannot see. Um, something you cannot see. What is it? Okay, what's next? Four of Cups. Again, Four of Cups for me is usually that energy of waiting, 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 boredom, like when when is uh, when is my ship gonna come in kind of energy although there is a rat and every deck has a different energy attached to it there is a rat on top of those four cut cups what is this about because now they're giving me that feeling of you know rats normally work at night don't they um i i mean i don't i haven't seen very many rats in my life but i think that they normally i don't know if that's a connection i'll leave it there because i don't know what that's about Father of Pentacles next. Okay, stability, money, um, great finances. Could be someone that is coming in to help you out here, to give you some kind of gift. You're going to need some more cards. So let's get started. All right, Spirit, what do you have for Sag? What is this about? What would you like Sagi to know? Those that this reading is meant for. Please show me as clearly as possible. I appreciate you. Okay, what do we got? Six of Pentacles. Okay, the beautiful energy of equal balance. Okay, we've got the hermit on the bottom. What is this about? Beautiful energy. Um, nice exchange. What you're putting out there, you are receiving it back. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit, Virgo's card. Very weird, because this is feeling like there's you and someone else involved. And over here, this is a single, singular energy, right? moving into your crab taking that time out to get clarity to find out what you really want i we gotta go more because sag i cannot lie i don't know what's going on here what is this about please spirit guide me more what do, would you like sag to know the, the nine of swords anxiety stress worry um it's that sleepless night card Eight of Wands on the bottom. Something coming in quite quickly. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's. Keep, what is this about, Spirit? So you've been having anxiety. <clears throat> Someone's been having anxiety. Someone's been having a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Could be about finances. Um, 
especially nowadays because life has gotten a whole lot more expensive. I'm not sure what this is about, but it, we're going to keep going. Um, but it does feel like you've been having anxiety, the sleepless nights, the anxiety, like waking up at three in the morning. Um, and all of a sudden, every fear that you could possibly have start to rule your mind and it takes over. We've got the star on the bottom. So healing, recovery. I feel like I just want to get the cards. Okay, wait, one flipped out. Ace of Pentacles, okay. Okay. And the Emperor on the bottom. Ace of Pentacles. So um, that is our beautiful Earth energy. Again, so this could be really about your finances, Sag. Um, again, it doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm picking up more on. You might have been stressing out about something here, not being able to pay your bills, not having enough. Um, and it's causing a lot of, ugh, you know, worry. A lot of worry. But you get the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. A brand new beginning, a brand new offer coming towards you. Again, it's connected to this fruit bat. This looks like a bullseye to me. I know it's a tree trunk, right? But in the middle, it looks like a bullseye. Um, and it feels like this is an opportunity for you to really not only grasp it and get it, but also to hit the bullseye of whatever it is that you've been wishing for, wanting, um, desiring. Okay. Emperor on the bottom, so Aries card now, another major arcana showing up here, or a major arcana. Getting back into control. This could be indicating that you're taking a leadership. Maybe you're getting offered a leadership role. Again, not everyone's working, right? Some are retired, some are, you know, homemakers, all of that. Um, but this does feel like there's something coming in here that brightens the load. It lightens the load and brightens your, your energy. Um, could be coming from an Aries, Mother of Cups, Cancer's card, something that would bring a lot of emotional stability into your life, um, where you feel protected. Let's get more, please, Spirit. Show me more. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, let's go and see if we can get two more cards out of this deck. Okay, Sag. Sometimes it does. I don't get it off all out at the very beginning. You know that. <laughs> so let's see what this is about. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, a new offer on the table. There is an exchange of kindness. I am getting a sense of prosperity coming towards you. But you may not see it because we have that moon, right? So it's hidden. All right, Spirit. Anything else out of this deck? I'm going to go three times, and then we'll move on. Anything else? Two. Three. Nothing else came out. Something that will free you that will free you from a feeling of unable to free yourself. Butterfly. Now remember at the bottom of the deck, we had um, the tarantula, the connections. Ooh, okay. And then we had the butterfly, the soul, and then we had the purpose, the shark. Okay, so look at this. This is connecting to the butterfly and the tarantula for me here. You've been feeling like your hands are tied. If this is your reading, of course, it may not be yours. Feeling like your hands are tied, feeling like you don't have enough money, feeling like, because if you look at how this is depicted, it's a beautiful butterfly, but it cannot fly because there's two pentacles, there's a pentacle on each side of the wing, and it's connected, almost what looks like a rubber band, yes, it is in a rainbow color, but it does indicate here that you've not been able to fly, you haven't been able to take off ground yet. Hmm, okay, well let's leave that upright and let's move on, let's go in to another deck and see what this is about. Um, <clears throat> There is a connection, again, that you've either made or you're about to make. <clears throat> and whatever the connection that is, it doesn't even have to be a person. It could be, I don't know what this is. Okay, king of cups on the bottom. We just had the queen. Now we have the king. Bringing in beautiful emotional security, stableness. Um, no more, um, if you've been feeling this anxiety of the nine of swords, this gets washed away. It gets replaced with a six of pentacles and a new beginning as far as your money, as far as your self-worth, all of that kind of, that good stuff. Okay, so let's move on to this deck. Show me more, please, Bear. What is this about? Wow, jeez. Eight of wands on the bottom. <clears throat> this is your energy, Aries and Leo. Fast, forward. Hermit keeps showing up here. Very fast, forward movement. Um, something coming in for you very quickly. And I almost feel like you don't see it at this time. 
And I wonder, the hermit keeps showing up. So what I'm wondering here, this is such a weird reading, Sag, because it's like, I feel like there's another, there's someone else involved or some kind of connection involved, but then <clears throat> I'm also feeling this, this self energy, like as like the hermit, like, is this something that you have done that you brought in for yourself that brings a lot of happiness? Three of cups, but it is the devil first, the three of swords, and then the three of cups. This is making absolutely no sense to me. It's almost like if, okay, it feels almost like you may be in a place that you feel powerless because of the devil showing up, right? Capricorn's energy. That you may feel powerless and you may feel like you are really restricted. Because the devil represents restrictions, um, bondage, um, imprisonment, addictions, etc., etc. It's a heavy energy. But you're wanting the equalness. You're wanting this balance. But there's this fear here with the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords underneath. This is pretty painful, pretty scary, pretty, you know, it hurts. That is causing you to have nightmares, causing you to stress more than, than you need to. Because the way it is coming up then the next, as my guides are leading me, they're like, there is a new offer on the table for you with the Ace of Pentacles. And it is going to bring a lot of happiness and joy into your life. Celebration. Okay, so let's, let's continue. So Eight of Wands. Something coming towards you quite quickly that I don't feel you see at this moment. And maybe that's why they keep giving the hermit, because the hermit is, you know, alone and goes inward. And the only light the hermit has is that lantern, is going inward. Maybe you think you have to do everything on your own. And there's an energy coming through saying, no, you don't. And this is just fear here. Because the devil can also just be us. We, go, we all have that energy in us, too. It's not necessarily negative, um, especially all the time. This can be just our own mind chatter, um, you know, the worry, the stress, thinking that we are powerless when in fact we are very powerful. Okay, spirit, let's get into this now. Show me what the devil is about. I didn't even get to say it. The world, yeah, a cycle closing out. Something that might have been going on for quite a long time. This could be a pattern that you find yourself in. Maybe things start to go good, you start to feel positive, and then maybe you have a mindset that is, you know, you go, well, shit, when things go up, I know that they're going to go down, so now I'm getting worried about them going down. You get what I'm saying? Spirit giving you the world to close up the devil energy, it's like I think there's going to be a change in your mind. But also physically, physically there's a change coming in. We have the four of swords on the bottom. So let me know that you're pretty exhausted at wherever you are at right now, Sag. Okay, show me the three of... The Three of Swords and the Nine of um, Swords. A lot of swords here. So that's Gemini, uh, Libra, and Aquarius. You might be dealing with one of them. Someone that has that sign. Show me. What is this about, please? Why is Sag having this anxiety and this heartbreak? I mean, is this referring to the past that you're worried about um, it happening again? Yes. Eight. So, Wow. Eight of Cups, clarifying. Okay, so you are moving away from this more lower vibrational energy, Sag. And then well, Owl, they're, they're suggesting here you really got to rely on your, your faith and you got to rely on that beautiful intelligence that you have. Eight of Cups, walking away, leaving the nightmares, leaving the anxiety, leaving the worry of, you know, <clears throat> being heartbroken again, being devastated again leaving it, walk, moving away. Because you know that this is not going to bring you to where you want to be. Yeah, okay. And then we have the High Priestess on the bottom. Beautiful. Major Arcana again. You know, this is all about that intuition. Listening to your gut, listening to your intuition. Overriding your mind. 
Our mind can play tricks on us. We have the death card. This is Pisces, by the way. And then we, it's followed by the death card, Scorpio's card. So I do feel that spirit is asking you, maybe they're asking you to even be kind to yourself, Sag. If you've been giving yourself a lot of hard time, if you've been feeling, now yeah, that's exactly it, the devil, right? Um, if you've been maybe not being so kind to yourself, not, not holding yourself in your grace, giving yourself a lot of, a lot of weight, sweetheart, you have to stop. You got to start loving yourself. Wherever you are right now is where you know. This is the journey you've, has gotten you to here. But there's something here that's got to get cut out, and I feel it will be cut out, especially with the high priestess and the death card. You know, and the world showing up. There's an ending of some cycle. You got to let it in. You got to let this this new cycle in, <clears throat> and you'll feel so much lighter. Show me a little bit more about the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, please, for Sagittarius spirit. What is Saggy going through here? Because the Nine of Swords also traditional. It's the you know the person that's in bed alone at night. And they're just full of fear, right? Um, I don't know. And I just feel like spirit is asking you to be more loving to yourself um, and believe that positive things can happen in your life. And that moon is representing you don't know what is just around the corner. Wow. When, what do I, when I stopped, it is the nine of cups. So your wishes really can come true, Satch. It's the negative thinking it's the maybe not believing. You probably have gone through a lot in your life. And so Spirit is saying you really now got to start being kinder and, and more gentle on yourself. And allow yourself to fly. Remove the rubber band. Remove it. Because it's keeping you stuck. And then watch how things will start to come to you and start to align for you. Okay. But I do still feel there's someone... Someone, there's something that is going to offer you something. Okay, what is the Ace of Pentacles, please, Spirit? And the Three of Cups. Oh, nothing came out. Let's continue. Again, this is confusing for me <clears throat> as a channeler. But I know that it is someone's reading out there. So, let's see. We've got the star on the bottom. Yeah, wow. Wow. Love it. The Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So we've got the beginning. This has shown up a few times now. We've got the beginning of you starting a new path. It's a beginner. It's beginning, right? Um, beautiful, though. You are really going to start moving in a different direction. With the Knight of Swords, this is fast movement. You're deciding what you want, right? Um, you're deciding what you want and you're, 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 you're removing all the roadblocks and you're moving fast. Like, look at how fast this person is going, right? With the star on the bottom, how appropriate. The star, Aquarius, allowing yourself to heal. Forgive yourself from any things that didn't work that we would call failures. There's no such thing as failures. I know we all feel it. I mean, I feel it too sometimes. Like, damn, am I just, you know. Um, this is all natural human experiences. We're a soul in a human body having a human experience. We can be very tough on ourselves. We can be very hard on ourselves. I really feel that they want you to start to embrace loving yourself a lot and allow yourself to have this restorative energy, you know? And again, divinely orchestrated here, it will lead you to a more fulfilling, can I say, life? Because when you start to see that when you want something and you believe that it can happen and that you, my love, are deserving and worthy of it and you get rid of this, whatever this is, you know, the not believing in yourself, not thinking you deserve it, whatever this comes from, whatever that is, <clears throat> you then will start to attract and, you know, it's amazing when you start to love yourself more and you start to be kinder to yourself. The more that the universe, the divine God, source, they start to be kinder to you, too. It, it's true. So I feel like this is a, a, a time for you to go easier on yourself and trust and know that things can improve in big, drastic ways. We've got the judgment card even after the star. So this is, again, rising up out of the ashes and becoming that phoenix and flying free. You know, restorative energy is coming in. We've got the ace of pentacles once again. 
So we've had that twice now. So there is a new beginning that is for all, on offer. It could be someone offering it to you. It's interesting. They've kind of taken that energy away from me. <clears throat> so maybe it's only for one or two of you that some offer is going to come in that you weren't expecting. And you've been thinking that, you know, life is just going to be darn right miserable. But this offer comes in and it allows you to move away from any low vibrational energy that you may be feeling. And it gives you this new start. Okay, let's see. What else can you show me? Spirit, for Sag, for those that this reading is about. <clears throat> what is this kindness? And the wisdom of the owl. Hmm. Let's go three times and then maybe we'll go to my lights here. It's that feeling it might call me. It's kind of calling me. And three. Okay, we're done with this one. Yeah, seven of wands, right, on the bottom. So this is your energy. It is kind of that def uh, defending energy. Feeling defensive. Hmm. Are you feeling defensive, Sag? Worry and stress will make you feel this, for sure. Queen of Pentacles is after that. So again, a lot of stability on offer for you. Oops, I was knocking my deck over. Let's see what the Light Sears deck has to say. Oh, oh my God, you're kidding me. The moon. Okay, so that's two decks now that the moon has shown up. So Sag, again, whatever you're worried about, the fear, the stress, I know, I know it is scary. You don't know what's around the corner. But look, it's gonna, it, it, this is gonna be illuminated. You're, what you don't see right now, what you don't know, it's gonna be showing to you. It's coming in. We have the Nine of Cups even after that. So there is a wish fulfillment. You just don't see it at this time. Seven of Wands. Okay. Spirit, can you please show me a little bit more where Sagittarius is heading here with this reading? Where are they heading? Feels like wish fulfillment is coming true. You just don't see it yet. But I also do feel that they are asking you to be more kinder to yourself. Not to be a broken record. But that is what I'm feeling. And letting go of, letting go of past, um, <clears throat> past things that really broke your heart, that, that, that made you feel really horrible. Letting go of the fear, if you can. When I stop, we get the fool. Because there's a new path to take. There's a shift in you that will bring wonderful things to you. Oh my God, the Ten of Pentacles after that. So this is exactly what it is. Again, it's not going to be for everyone. There's an energy where I feel like you've been, I can't think of the word. I can hear it. I can hear my guys giving it to me. De Deprivating? De what is the word? Uh, it's where you're really harsh on yourself. Deprivating, I think that is the word. Um, where you've been really harsh on yourself. And you might not show it to others, but to yourself. The, what, what are you saying to yourself? It's really kind of a, a energy that is feeling like you feel like you're undeserving. You want, you would love to have all of this good stuff. But there's something here stopping you um, from allowing it to come in, to receive. Okay, I'm going to go one more time here. Because I think this is coming more clear, at least for myself, that this is all about you with you. Again, for a few of you, a very small percentage, you might be getting an offer that takes you out of this heavier energy and puts you on a new path that is going to be a lot more, you know, stable, supportive, um, kinder, and where you can really feel happier. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom where I stopped. Okay. And she is the money, right? Okay, what do we have? Yep, yeah. Eight of Cups. What are they, you see what I'm saying? They are saying it's time to let go of old ways of thinking, old ways of being, um, because the swords are all about our communication with ourselves, with others. It's everything that we're thinking about. You're walking away. They're telling you you need to walk away. Walk towards the sun. Don't walk towards the dark. She's not walking this way towards the dark. She's walking towards the sun. And we have Cancer's card on the bottom. The chariot. <clears throat> Victory. Being able to, like really stepping into your chariot. And this is a very victorious card. It is a powerful card of lots of... Um, excitement and um, beautiful energy of really running for, towards what you know you are worthy of. 
which is a lot. If you look at these colors, they're purple and they're oranges and they're yellows and gold. It's a powerful card. Feels magic. Didn't I say that at the very beginning? I can't remember. But I said something, what magic are you create, creating? There is magic that you're going to be creating. You just got to kind of get rid of this stuff. It's interesting that they started off with Six of Pentacles. Okay, Knight of Swords next, followed by the Hierophant. That's all about your wisdom. Knight of Swords twice. Hierophant, believe that you can get to the top of those golden stairs and that you will have all of the good things coming towards you. You are worthy, Sag. And then again, the Fool. The Fool, after restrictive, restrictive thinking, Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, feeling powerless, feeling like you don't deserve anything better. So that is a message of this, this reading, Sagittarius. It is about you loving yourself more than you maybe have ever loved yourself and going after what you want and believing that you can have it. Okay. How crazy it just shifted, right? It just shifted from me thinking someone was going to offer. And again, that's going to be for a few of you um, that will free you up. But for the majority of you, if this is your reading, it is about putting a stop to now negative self-talk, negative self-belief, maybe negative patterns, negative um, ways that you cope with stress, you know, um, because look at the devil. I mean, it can talk about, as I said, addictions, maybe, you know, and listen, this is no blame. I mean, we are all humans trying to do the best we can on this planet with what we have, right? Sometimes this is coping with alcohol or co coping with drugs or, you know what I mean? Um, there's something that needs to stop here, but it does feel like it directly affects you and your growth and your expansion. Allow this to come through. Allow this to come through. You will have prosperity and love and, and success moving forward. We just got to get rid of this crap. Okay, Saji. Sending you lots of love and big, big hugs. No one is perfect on this planet. So let's start loving yourselves a little bit more. Okay, I feel like I'm going to go to treasures. And we're going to see what is... Okay, wow, what does this say? Respect. We haven't had respect for a long time. Sad, we got respect and it's followed by transformation. So this is definitely for someone out there. It says a sense of reverence surrounding your being creates flow with every thought or action. Man, thank you, Spirit, so much. They are closing it out with this card, which sums up everything that I've been channeling. It says, pay particular attention to yourself, your clothes, your stance, your charisma, who you are, self-talk. Allow your inner pride of self to quietly shine. Honor yourself and respect the needs of others. And whatever needs to be achieved can be done with dignity. Yeah, so that is it. Start loving and respecting yourself because there is a transformation happening. Again, you have self you have free will. You can decide how it's going to go, right? <clears throat> um, okay, I'm not going to read it. It's transformation. We had the soul card show up. So there is a big cycle that can close out for you. And a new one that can begin that feels a lot healthier and um, a lot more driven, but in really exciting energy. All right, Spirit. Do we have one card, one message? Ooh, the card's kind of going crazy. For Saggy to close off this reading. Love yourself, Sag. Love yourself. You are so worthy. One final card, Spirit. Sorry, I just got a little tickle in my arm. Okay. Don't know what that was. Thought maybe it was a hair, but I don't feel it. Walking away from the low vibrational stuckness. Oops. Okay, show me clearly. Is there one final message, Spirit? I'll go three times. One, Ooh. two, three. Okay, what's on the bottom? Consideration and value. Okay, so let's read it. Um, pay attention. Let nothing move past without your examination. Be reflective. Um, many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what has brought you to this now moment, you will see how much of yourself deserves your loving consideration. Exactly, Sag. Exactly. You deserve your own loving consideration. And it is follow, followed by value. So we're, we're taking it. This is what spirit wants for you. So it says appreciate yourself. Cherish and respect yourself. Do not undervalue your talents and be prepared to put a value on your efforts. 
Every experience is to be valued, whether you understand the lesson or not. There may be greater worth in something than you first saw. So value yourself. You know, allow yourself to love yourself and allow yourself to make mistakes. We all do it. That's how we learn. If we didn't make a mistake, we'd never learn anything, would we? Just like when we have issues or contrast in our life, um, if we'd never had that, we would never learn what it is that we do really truly want, right? What our heart wants, what our soul wants, right? So that's the message I feel here, Sag. I hope it helps in some way. Be kind to yourself and consider it to yourself. You deserve it. And if you do that, you're going to shift the energy and you're going to attract more of that beautiful respect and value into your world. Okay, Saggy. So until next time, I am sending you so much love. Be easy and gentle with yourself. You know, we're all doing the best that we can here with what we got, right? Okay, Sag. Big kisses. And as always, the biggest hug to you. I love you. Stay safe. Be kind to yourself. And that's it. <laughs> okay. All right, Sag. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time, hopefully.